Hi, I'm Ian and welcome back to Astro Time Traveller. Well, it's eventually happened. The uh, Skywatcher Esprit 120ED telescope, which I've had on order from late August, finally arrived at the beginning of December. And if you saw my short previous video, you'll see it sitting on the uh, doorstep of my house. I literally uh, woke up early in the morning and it had been delivered very early, uh, I think about seven o'clock. Uh, so I went to the door and saw this huge box outside, as you may have seen. So since then, uh, I've unboxed it and I've set it up and I've taken my first images. And this video, I'm going to show you all of that. Literally the, the box unboxing, taking it out the box, showing you what comes with the telescope briefly, and then showing you my setup and my first light images. Um, I had a short period, I think uh, only a couple of hours, to take some images. So I took the uh, Elephant Trunk Nebula and I'll show you how they came out, which I think was pretty impressive. I think I only ended up with about eight uh, light frames. So I used a bit of Topaz Denoise to, to bring out some of the uh, clarity in it and get rid of the, the noise in such a small number of light frames. But even with that, I'm super impressed with the telescope. I've got round stars out to the corner of the, uh, the image, uh, which I'll show you. And I think which is really impressive about this uh, Esprit 120. Uh, so I'll show you how I set it up, I'll show you those first lights, but then in a subsequent video what I'm also going to show you is a bit more detail of what actually comes with the telescope, each of the pieces, and also some of the additional elements I bought, like the flattener to go with it, and exactly what I used to get the right back focus of 75 millimeters from the edge of the uh, flattener to my sensor, and I'll show you some more images that I took. I took some more of the uh, Elephant Trunk Nebula, and also of the Flaming Star Nebula. And they've all come out really nicely, and again with very round stars out to the edges, which I think for a telescope of about 840 millimeters focal length is very, very impressive. So I've only used it three times so far, but I'm already a convert, and I can see this my go-to telescope in the coming months, particularly, which I wanted it for, was for galaxy season coming up in the spring. I know it's not a huge focal length, but it will, aim, it will enable me to get to some of the bigger galaxies, and even with some of the smaller, I should be able to uh, close in on them uh, when I uh, do my imaging. So looking forward to it. So hopefully you enjoy this video see what comes in the box and then my next video I'll show you a bit more about that and how I set it up. finally arrived. I've been waiting uh, about three months for my Skywatcher Esprit 120 ED and here it is and you can see it's a pretty sizable box. So let me just undo the box and then I'll take you through uh, what's actually inside and some of the uh, extra bits and pieces I uh, bought to, to go with it. So let's try and see if we can undo this. It's very nicely secured. It's uh, come from Flow, so First Line Optics down in Exeter. It took them a while to receive it, I think because of the uh, problems in China, but it looks very well packaged. Just undoing each uh, end. There we go. Oh. And there you can probably, probably see inside. There it is, all nicely packaged. now. Now to see how we get out of here. Okay, so that's a bit of cardboard on top. Let's get that off. And then there's some more support here. But uh, as you can see, there's the, there's the actual box with the telescope inside. So that's the unboxing piece. Uh, I'm going to put it down and take it out of the box and then we'll see what's inside. So it's going to be exciting. So here it is out of the box and uh, I've just undone the, the latches at the front so let's just open up and see what's inside. So okay so we've got the instructions manual. Um, let me just tip it up and see if I can show you. You can see the telescopes inside and then the other elements that come with it. So I'm going to be very careful how I take this out because it's a monster but uh, we've got some uh, 
additional pieces that go with the telescope, uh, uh, various extensions, and then we've got the, the finder scope in here. So there's that. So I'll go through them all once I've got it all out. Uh, and there's a diagonal as well. So those are the main pieces, I think. There's a couple of things up here. So that looks like a T-ring. And then in here is the actual monster itself. So again, I'm gonna be uh, careful how I do this. Let me just move it down and then we can uh, take it out and we'll see what the, uh, the actual telescope looks like inside. It's on wheels, which is really good. So that's uh, good for moving it around. And oh, this is this is a heavy a heavy telescope. You're gonna to have to see how I can get this this out. Maybe let's try from this end. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I want to be careful not to do any damages. So I think you can see this is a pretty big scope. So. There it is. Let's just close the box. Let's just put that down for a second so we can actually see the telescope in more detail. So here it is. It's uh, in its bag. Let's just take the, uh, the bag off. It's all it's very nicely wrapped, which is good. Now I might have a couple of uh, hours tonight to actually try imaging, which I know is a very rare thing when a new telescope arrives, but uh, it's all, I guess we've got, let's take that off for a second, just so you can see it, about all the paper wraps. So, there it is. So, that is the Skywatcher Esprit 120. Um, and uh, it's got a big mount on the bottom, so I well can see how I uh, make sure I get the mount right on that. And this is the, the lens at the, uh, the front, but it's a, it's a heavy monster. So loading that on my uh, Skywatcher 6R Pro is gonna be interesting. But uh, let me come back in a, in a while and just show you some of the attachments I've got for it and do it. we'll see how we uh, are going to put those on. So what I also got to go with it was uh, a couple of things here. So I've got a uh, field flattener, so the 120 field corrector. So that should plug onto the end. So it's not a reducer, but it just gives a full field uh, aspect uh, to make sure there's, there's nothing happening at the edges. And then together with that, uh, I also got the uh, element to put the two inch filter in there so I can actually mount the filter in the, the front of that. Uh, then I also got a couple of extra pieces, including uh, the inevitable juice strap. So if just open this bag and see what we've got here. So I've got a Link Astro juice strap should uh, be good to go around the, the end of the telescope and I've also got uh, some more uh, extensions so these are the 48 millimeters I think that I need for this uh, telescope because I think the back focus of the reducer is going to be 75 millimeters uh, to the lens of my uh, one shot uh, camera the 294MC Pro so I need probably some of those to do that and that's pretty much it so uh, pretty happy with all of that. Oh, this is the actual uh, cell, I think. I think these were other extensions, but this is the, uh, the cell. Yeah, the cell I need for my uh, two-inch uh, filter to go in using the uh, Optolong L Enhance or the Optolong L Extreme. So that's all of it. So it looks pretty good. So what I'll do now is probably uh, go away and set it up with the equipment and show you uh, what that looks like and how it works. Hopefully with my uh, first lights tonight for a couple of hours, I'm probably going to try and do uh, the horse head, uh, sorry, the elephant trunk nebula, I'm going to try and do the elephant trunk nebula and see how that comes out. So fingers crossed, let's see how it all goes. So here is the Skywatcher Esprit 120 
ED now set up on my tripod there you can see that's it brand new open today pretty exciting and uh, as you can see that sits nicely on the uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro and I've got it balanced um, I balanced it without the uh, cover on the top obviously I took that off because that's quite heavy but I fully extended the uh, dew shield to to get the right balance and it really balanced quite nicely now and you can see where I've got the actual uh, elements being held on the uh, dove plate the uh, place at the bottom um, so I'm gonna make sure I remember that for the next time I'm loading it up and equally for the weights I'm using weights at about here so I'm both on but I'm only using the uh, the normal one that comes out to uh, put them on and use the extender and that all seemed to balance pretty nicely so I'm pretty happy with that balancing we'll see how that goes I've managed to attach my uh, guide scope on the top which is the WO 60 millimeter which has a 280 millimeter focal length uh, guide scope and I've got my ZWO SI 120mm at the back for my guide camera and then that all is going to be operated by my good old friend the ASI Air Pro which is attached to the bottom and then the important bit at the back is uh, how I'm going to actually make sure I get the uh, images coming through properly so I'm using my uh, ZWO 294MC Pro and you can see I'm using my bubbles and I'm trying to get to I think a zero degree which should nicely uh, place the um, elephant trunk nebula in the right spot but I'm not going to be doing many images tonight so it's really only testing it a bit but the important bit is I've got the field flattener at the back of the lens and what I've got behind that is you need to have 75 millimeters from the back end of the flattener to the lens on the camera. And I've got a few additions in there to uh, make that the right length. You can see a couple of uh, additional um, things to make sure everything gets the right. And I've measured it out at pretty much dead on 75 millimeters. So hopefully that works. In there you can see I've got a filter drawer and in there I've got my Optolong uh, L Extreme filter. You can see a bit of sellotape on that because uh, the filter drawers um, a tendency to, to drop out a little bit so I just uh, stick that down so we're kind of ready to go so this will be my first lights tonight we'll see how that goes um, I'm really impressed by it it is incredibly heavy so to lift this out and to put it onto the um, mount was not easy but um, very carefully did it as it's my first night I want to make sure I don't uh, make any mistakes and we'll see how that goes so I'm very excited. We'll see how the first images come out from the Skywatcher Esprit 120ED. So here I am just finishing off my focusing, so using my Batonoff mask on, I think the star's uh, alderman. And uh, you can see I'm pretty close there. So I'm just finalizing, moving it a little bit more in focus. And the uh, focus knobs are really good on this telescope. And there you go. So. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks uh, like it's in focus. So I now can tighten underneath the uh, focusing knobs to make sure that stays in focus. And I'll uh, just take one more of the star just to make sure it's positioned uh, really at the center uh, as much as I can. So uh, we'll just see that load up. And then once that's done, I'll just do another plate solve and I'll do another final sync to the star just to make sure it uh, gets right into the best position. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Uh, one more just to finalize that position and you can see it's now just loading the final bit up and there we go, the star's moved slightly down. So happy with that, I'll save that. I might look at that at a later stage. But now I'm ready to move on to my target, which is gonna be the Elephant Trunk Nebula, which is IC1396A. Uh, I think I have to actually just put in 1396 and then it will show me a, a number of, there we go, it shows me a number of images so I can uh, select the second one, which is the uh, 96A. So click on that and it will now move to target. And what I have noticed with the ASI Air Pro, with the recent firmware update, it's much better getting on target. If you saw one of my previous videos, you'll see it can be slightly off, but it now seems to be dead on with the deck and very, very close on the RA. So I'll do a video on that in the future to see how that has improved. Um, but here's the first image. You can see the uh, telescope is slightly moving. So I'll take it again and then we can see it uh, better. It's just loading up and there we go. So there we go. So there's the first image. So I'm now ready to go into my auto run. So I'll set it up and we'll come back and see what the first image looks like. So here is my very first image using the 
uh, Esprit 120 ED, and that's pretty good. There you can see the elephant trunk on the side, but if you look at the stars, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, we can just check on those. There they are, they're about 2.34, so that's pretty good. It was a very windy night, so I was happy with that. And if I go out to the edges of the image and go up the left-hand side, you can see the stars are pretty round. I think they're very round, right out to the edges, and then go along the top, and again, I can see the stars are all looking round, which I guess is why you spend such a lot of money on the uh, Esprit 120ED. That's what you're looking for. And obviously, I've also bought the flattener to help that. And going down past the amp glow, again, you can see all those stars out to the edge of the uh, image are round, which is ideal for a focal length of 800, and I think it's 863 it came out with this image. Then that's exactly what I, I bought this telescope for to get a good focal length, but also to get some good sharp stars out to the edges. Uh, should be really good when I get to galaxy season. But you can see there's the uh, actual IC 1396A, uh, so that's on target. So I now process this image and I'll show you some of the final uh, image that I got when I processed it. I only had six images, but um, you'll see what it looks like. And there it is. So. I was happy with that. I used a bit of Topaz Denoise to uh, get rid of some of the noise, but really happy with that very first image from the Esprit 120 ED. Thank you. 